Republic, led by our President, Comrade Ellison Munagawa. I want to assure you that since he came to power in 2017 and elected in 2018, Zimbabwe has never been the same again. I want to echo the sentiments of the couple that were here, I think Joy and her husband, we were in Zimbabwe a few weeks ago, who testified about the positive developments in Zimbabwe. I'm here to also give a similar testimony. Two days ago, I was in Zimbabwe, and I'm here to share with you the success story of our government policy, the national development strategy, and the vision 2030, which is leaving no one behind, even us diaspora Zimbabweans that are here. This is why we are here to celebrate the consular services here to make lives better for all Zimbabweans at home and abroad. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you are witnessing history. Sometimes when history happens in your era, you don't remember that it is happening. Zimbabwe, under the last 25 years, has gone through a lot of trials and tribulations. We have been under unprecedented sanctions imposed by the US and its allies. But as a nation, through resilience, hard work, unity, and cohesion, we have managed to survive that, to usher ourselves under a new modernization program, which has brought the vibrancy that has led to the setup of this fantastic uh, consular services to ensure that Zimbabweans here can support the country by unlocking investment. I want to challenge all the Zimbabweans here that it's now time to act and work. You have an office specially dedicated for all of you to support the country in unlocking my investment. Those in philanthropy who want to help get in touch with the consular office and they'll facilitate setting up of initiatives in Zimbabwe, taking investors to Zimbabwe, and even showcasing and our culture and our tourism. So this is a one-stop shop where you can find key important information about Zimbabwe. And I'm delighted to say, Heather, this is the beginning of success, the beginning of progress, the progress that we all want. So let's work together with her to make the office and the project a success. It's a duty and a commitment for each and everyone that is here, even our brothers from different African countries. You are welcome to invest in Zimbabwe. As we say, Zimbabwe is open for business. In winding up, I would like to also say I will be contributing and playing my part to support the office. So I am also here to discuss other important businesses to ensure that we work together with Heather to ensure that we unlock the much needed investment for our country. But most importantly, the purpose of this office, of this development, is to also support many Zimbabweans that are in this, in Scotland here, to have knowledge and awareness about what Zimbabwe is all about. So those that have children that are here, let's continue to remember, to remind them about the importance of our home country. 
as much as we are comfortable in our host country, but let's never forget our home country. So I'm urging all the diaspora Africans that are here that let's never forget home. Let's continue to work together to support development initiatives back home. For without us, development will not happen. No one will develop Africa. Us, the Africans, have to partner the locals here and to ensure we develop our mother continent. So with these words, I want to say I'm delighted and honored to be here and I want to thank you all for giving me this opportunity to speak to all of you. And I want to thank the organizers of the event for a job well done. Thank you so much. May God bless you.